Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Hi, this is Tammy Patzer, and I am happy to have Dr. Joni Liu on the show today. She is a doctor of classical Chinese medicine, and Dr. Joni Liu is the author and sports concussion healing expert, and she is challenging medical authorities to stop researching and start looking at the answers they have already done research on in neuroscience and all its branches in the last 25 years related to concussions. Joni, welcome. And thank you so much, Tammy. I'm so happy to be here to help your entrepreneurial and business audience to gain more health so that they can stay happy, healthy, and productive. Great. So tell me a little bit more about what you're pleading with these doctors about. Well, you know, the message really came out loud and clear when a young teenager, his name is McCann Utu Jr., committed a murder-suicide several weeks ago. And what happened is that he murdered his mother and his younger brother, and then he committed suicide. He had been suffering from post-concussion syndrome since uh, 2013 when, as a basketball player, he was dunking the ball and somehow he had a a head injury. So um, it was a very strange occurrence. But the thing is, is that everybody could see from that point on that he was going downhill, in particular because whatever protocols that his school had at the time for concussions and their return to play protocol, well, he failed them every time. So he was never allowed again to ever play basketball. And so what does that do to a young person or to any athlete who loves what they do? You know, it's part of their identity. All of a sudden, that's not them anymore, but that's who they want to be. And now they're denied all access to what they truly love. And so apparently his friends said that he started um, with all this time on his hands, he started to uh, go around, hang around with the wrong crowd. You know, like a whole bunch of different things happened, but his family could see him going straight down (laughs) from that point on. And then it ended in the murder-suicide. So let's go ahead and unveil some of the myths about concussions. Can you talk about maybe three of the big myths out there about concussions? Well, the very first one is that you need to go to emergency to find out if you've got one. Well, unfortunately, x-rays don't help you because it only sees bone. And really, if you go for an MRI, you can't see any evidence of that either because a concussion is not a structural problem with the brain. It's a functional problem with the brain because you start getting dizzy, you start having other symptoms uh, elsewhere in the body that has a lot to do with that imbalance. The One, the, one of the other myths about concussions is that you've got to go home, stop doing everything that you're doing, and that's whether you're at school or whether you're at work and just stay in a dark room and do nothing for several days at a time. Yet their own research is saying that when you do that, it either makes the symptoms worse, it prolongs the symptoms, and also it can make somebody more susceptible to depression. And the reason for that is because when you're sitting around and you're not allowed to do anything, you're pretty much just with you and your mind. And what, unless you're really well trained, what are you thinking about? The worst that could happen to you? That happens in a lot of cases. And the third myth is that you can't speed up the healing process. And yes, they're right to say that a concussion is different for everybody. It affects people in a different way and there are different causes. But the thing is, is that yes, you can speed up 
the process of healing if you know how to trigger the right things for the correct type of healing neuroplasticity. So what are some ways to speed up healing from a concussion? Well, one of the things that I found out is is that instead of having total rest, my recommendation is to get back into regular life as soon as possible. And it's really up to the person who's had the concussion to decide for him or herself whether they can do, you know, whatever that they're trying to do. And if they can't do that one thing or those two things, whatever it is, then then they can hang back. But keep going at your normal life as much as you can so that your mind is actually occupied with the good things, not with the bad things. So to me, that actually helps a person to speedily come back to normal life instead of hanging back and and imagining all the worst things that could happen. So do, did you have any personal experiences with concussions that helped you to develop the, the protocol that you are helping people to understand? You know, it's it's really interesting because I've had a healing process that is based on psychological well-being, which is pretty natural for classical Chinese medicine, okay? I've had it for many years now. And back in 2011, uh, Sidney Crosby, who plays for uh, Pittsburgh Penguins, uh, a very popular star, he was in this winter classic game against Washington uh, Capitals, and he suffered a concussion. Now, you know, he's a big star player. He had uh, a great run up until then, you know, winning the Stanley Cup with his team and and also winning um, the gold medal at the Olympics. And so he was having a great run. And then this thing happened. Now, usually I don't pay much attention to injuries, you know, in pro sports because they happen all the time. But the interesting thing about his concussion was the fact that, well, for one thing, he's a big star. And the other one was that as I was watching things, I began to notice that his doctors were bewildered. They had no idea how to help him. They kept re-diagnosing him, you know, not once, twice, three times. And so he actually lost almost two full years. That's two full years of his life that he can't get back. And during that time, I was, I was saying to myself and to my friends, you know, I wish I could uh, talk to this guy. I wish I could show him my process. And then in the summer of 2013, my God, the last thing that I ever expected was to hear from my own adult son who told me, who called me up one night and told me that, Mom, I was hit so hard in the head, I actually went blind. And that totally shocked me. But I gathered myself up, and he told me his story. He was playing soccer, and uh, he was marking his man on one side of the field when, unbeknownst to him, uh, a teammate kicked the ball towards him. Well, he was so occupied with what he was doing that he had no idea that the ball was coming, so he wasn't ready for it. So he was struck really hard on the right side of his head, and so he fell. His um, teammates gathered him up, took him to the sidelines, and while he was trying to sort things out, you know, that's when he realized that he had his eyes opened, <laughs> but he couldn't see anything. And so his life changed in that one second. And so he he couldn't do anything except wait. And I, he doesn't remember how long he was sitting there, but, but eventually his eyesight, thankfully, did come back. And then he made a decision. He went back out on the field. He went back on the field because it was a hot day. His, his team was shorthanded. He thought, you know, even though I don't feel great, at least they can sub on and off and get a break. So he did that until the end of the game. And then he managed to drive himself home. And that's when the headache started. And so he knew right away he had a concussion. There was no question. And being a grown man, 
he felt, okay, I'm going to take care of this. I'm going to cut out all my extracurricular activities. I'm going to rest when I can. The only thing he didn't stop doing was going into work because he's a, he was at the time an intermediate senior engineer, intermediate engineer. And he had a lot on his plate, so he could not afford to stay at home. He had to come in and work. But by the time he called me, it was about more than two weeks later, and everything had gone from bad to worse because now he wasn't eating, he wasn't sleeping. He had headaches almost all the time. He was a wreck, and he knew he was burning the candle at both ends. And he knew that eventually it was going to affect his performance at work because being an engineer, you're responsible for public safety. So he knew that a lot of things were on the line. And so he called me being the only person that he thought who could help him. And so we... So I said to him, okay, then you've got to do everything that I tell you to do because that's important because there is a whole bunch of things that you can do. And so we started working with each other right away and I found out that one of the issues that he had was the fact that at work they had a new supervisor and this new supervisor came to their meeting, their very first meeting with a young group of engineers and told them that I'm going to be your friend. And everybody just went, really? <laughs> they wanted a leader. They wanted somebody that they could go to to solve problems, you know, clear the path. They wanted a leader. So one of my son's friends automatically said, well, I'm looking for a new job and I'm quitting. But my f son did not want to quit. He loved where he was working, but he also didn't want to work for this guy. So the thing is, is that... um. Remember I said that he had to do all everything that I told him to do? Yes. Well, well, one of the things that I told him to do was set up a meeting with this guy because he has no idea what you're going through. So you're the one who's suffering. You've got to be the one who's got to go take the steps that you've got to take in order to get better. Because the thing is, is that my son was very stressed out because he didn't know what to do. He didn't know, do I stay? Do I go? Do I stay? Do I go? But I don't like this guy, but I love my job. What do I do? And so, so he was so confused because that's what a head injury is all about. Already being confused, lacking clarity. That's what a brain injury, that's what a head injury really means. And he was definitely suffering from all that. So I instructed him to set up a meeting with this guy every single week and he had to go in and ask him for what he wanted. Now, I also said there's no guarantee, even though you take this step, that this guy is going to want to do anything that you want him to do. But he did it. My son did it anyways because he had already made a decision that he was going to get well. And that is another clue to being well. You're going to do whatever it takes because it's not for me that he's doing this for. He's doing it for himself because he has a life. Well, because now he took control of the situation, he felt a lot better. Okay, The mental-emotional impact is there. So instead of feeling helpless and out of control, he was feeling a lot more in control and a lot more in power of his situation. And from that point on, the healing just went really fast. So within two months, he was back at playing soccer again. He, was, he played soccer all winter long. He skied in the Canadian Rockies all winter. It's been almost four years. He's never had a relapse, no more headaches, no more eye problems, definitely no depression. He's living his life exactly the way he wants to. Wow. So one of the things is it's your emotional mindset. You want to make sure that you feel like you're in control. What about other things such as diet? Is there anything you can do about your diet to help you get over a concussion? It's very important because this is one of the things that I instructed him too. It's very important to stay off alcoholic drinks. Um, of course, at the time it was, Mom. Well, and I said, Look, you're not eating or 
eating anyways. And besides, this is only on a very temporary basis until you are absolutely well again. So it's only temporary. It's not forever. So no more alcoholic beverages until they're well. And then eat all your food warm or cooked because you want the energy in your body to be used for healing, not for heating up cold, icy drinks and cold foods. So eat your foods all cooked, and that includes your vegetables. No salads for the time being. Oh, interesting. So you've written several books. Can you uh, give me the books that you've written and maybe a sentence or two about what each one is about? Well, Knockout Concussions is my very first book, and it goes into some detail um, about the things that I've just talked about right now uh, in the case of my son because actually I wrote that book right after (laughs) I finished treating him. And uh, Heal Your Concussion, 21 Days to Brain Health is my second little book, and it really is a very short book uh, about changing your mindset. Okay, it's it really comes down to using your mind to heal your brain. And my most recent book and my best book, I believe, is Heal Your Concussion, How to Quickly and Effectively Get Back in the Game. Now, all three of these are available on Amazon. But Heal Your Concussion, the third book, is is a combination of different things that you need about changing your mindset that aren't in knockout concussions and my second little book, Heal Your Concussion, 21 Days to Brain Health. So I go into a lot more detail and there's a lot more exercises and work in there for a person to work through in order to change that mindset and also to understand what the symptoms really do mean. Because uh, even though it's you're not going to arrive at a full diagnosis in there because you really do need to see a doctor of Chinese medicine to do that, but it gives you a checklist of things to look out for that are either going well for you or not, or not going so well. And that's important because you also need to, you've got to focus on the positive things, the positive aspects of your life. I think that's really important. I think mindset is important in all we do. So Dr. Joni, if someone wants to get more information about you and your services, where could they go? They can find me at www.drjoanny.com. So that's www.drjoni.com, where they can pick up uh, a free report on the five things you should never do when you have an injury. Very important myths in there that are busted. Um, You can find, of course, my books on Amazon.com. And you can also find me now on Facebook Live every Thursday at 3.30 p.m. Mountain Time, uh, 5 p.m., 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time on my Facebook page, Rapid Injury Recovery with Chinese Sports Medicine. And so please join me there and learn about your brain and other aspects of health every single week. So could you repeat when that is again? It's Facebook Live. Uh, At 3.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time uh, on my page, Rapid Injury Recovery with, uh, with Chinese Sports Psychology. Okay, great. Well, I'll make sure that I put that information in our show notes. Dr. Joni, thank you so much for helping us understand concussion treatments. And we learned a little teeny bit about classical Chinese medicine. So thank you. You're very welcome, Tammy. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.